Hi, boys and girls. This is Miss Bagwan Dean. I am going to read you a book today. Um, I was going to read it to you yesterday, but my sound wasn't working or something or other. Um, I think I read this book to a couple of you guys already if you were on my e-learning class at the beginning of the year. But I wanted to read you guys this book, and it's one of my favorite books um, by Peter Reynolds. And it says, Be You. It's very, very special. And it's very inspiring. Um, so it goes, Be You by Peter H. Reynolds. And I love the illustrations in the book. And I also have other books in the back. I have this one, I think. I can't find it. And then I want to get that one. And I think I have the last one right here. But I want to read you this book. So I'm going to go ahead and read this to you. It says, you were born to do so many things, okay? So I took the cover off because it's a little slippery. It says, Be You by Peter H. Reynolds. Think about what that means to you because you were, you could be so many different things. You were born to be so many things. If you look closely, Around the edges of the book, there's lots of words that can describe how you can be thoughtful, generous, uh, yourself, insightful, kind, peaceful, clever, smart, loved, sensible, interesting, ambitious, feisty, loving, persistent, I mean, never giving up, hungry, inventive. Yeah, we can be all hungry sometimes too. Uh, moody, I've been moody. Generous, open-minded. So you were born to be so many things. My wish for you, no matter where your journey leads, is for you to always be you. Oops, my book is a little crooked. And I love the shirt. It says, born to be me. So be ready to take the next steps toward being an amazing human being. So follow your dreams. You be curious. Ask questions. Turn every stone, ask every why, and keep digging deeply. Discover your own answers. Sometimes you may not find the answers to your questions, but you gotta keep trying. So be curious. Next one. Be adventurous. Now a lot of kids are adventurous. It says, Live a big life. When you are ready, step outside your comfort zone. Bravely explore new paths and see where they lead you. Be adventurous. Next one says, be connected. Now this is not like connected like with your phone and then the iPad and the internet. It's a different kind of connected. It says, find kindred spirits, be with those who make you feel like the real you. So be with people who are positive, be with people who make you feel special, be with people who build you up. And instead of building you down or breaking you down, build you up. That's basically what it means. So be connected. Oh, I like this one. Be persistent. It's a little dark and dreary on this page because it says like storms are coming. Sometimes things might be a little bit hard. And if you know what persevering is and persevering and persistent is the same word. So keep going, never stop, keep going. Never stop, keep going, never stop. So persistent means keep trying, uh, 
even when it's tough and you may not get the answers you want the right the first time just keep trying oh i love this one i love all of these illustrations be different now you are unique and you are special you are different than the person next to you. You have different personality, you have different traits. So be different. It's okay to be different. How can you be different? Be silly, be quirky, be odd, be unique, <laughs> be weird. Sometimes we're not wrong to be weird, but be colorful. Be okay with being different. Be just the way you are. Sometimes it's okay to be different because we're all different. Skin color, our hair color, our eye color, we're all different, but and our personalities are different. So in that being different, we can also be kind to one another. So be kind, be understanding. Sometimes we may not understand what others are talking about. And sometimes it just might be over our head. <laughs> but you can still be kind no matter what and be understanding. Help those around you to be themselves. Listen, that's important because when we're little, sometimes it's hard to listen, truly listen. Then listen some more, learn more about who they are. So sometimes when you listen to others, you learn about not only them, but you learn about yourself. Ooh. Be brave. It might be hard. Try new things. Take a deep breath and plunge forward into new experiences. It gets easier every time you try. There's going to be a lot of things that you're going to have to do. It's going to be challenging. It's going to be hard. Sometimes math or reading or writing might be hard, but you got to have faith and you got to have uh, curiosity and you got to be persistent. But you also have to take a step and be brave and courageous. Be brave. It gets easier every time you try. Be your own thinker. Just because everybody else is doing it, doesn't mean you need to. If they're doing something that's not quite right, don't mean you need to follow in their footsteps unless it's a good thing and a good example. Think for yourself and set your own unique course. It isn't always easy, but you'll be heading in the direction of you where you'll find your true self. You know, everybody's dressed alike, they're walking the same way, they even got the same hair, oh, hat, sorry, even the dog says. But be you. And that's going to be hard sometimes. Be okay with being alone. Sometimes this is okay when we're upset and angry. It's okay to be in a quiet spot and just take a couple of deep breaths, close your eyes, and just be alone. I know it's, sometimes it's hard, okay? but it's, it, the more you do it, the more easier it becomes. Take time to be your own. Oh, sorry. Take time to be on your own. Hear your own thoughts, your inner voice, and listen to your heart. Be patient. Not everything comes the first time. You're not always going to get it right the first time. I don't get a lot of stuff right the first time. I have to be persistent, persevering. I have to be brave, be courageous, but I also need to be patient. Be more takes time. Take a deep breath. Relax. Let your future unfold at its own pace. It will be worth the wait. Sometimes you just need to be patient. Wait your turn. 
B, okay, we're reaching out for help. It's okay to say, I need help. Can you help me? Can you really help me? When you need a helping hand, oops, a compassionate ear, someone to listen, and an encouraging word, reach out and know who you can reach out to. Don't reach out to the person who bullies and who says negative things. Reach out to people who love you. So where's that page? It says a compassionate air and encouraging word. Reach out. Because as you voyage out into the world, remember no matter what, you always will be love. So be you. And that is the end. It says, you are ready. Go ahead, be you. Be very, very you. And that's the end of the book. And there's like a little message. It says, go ahead, be yourself. Be the best version of you. Each day is a new chance to be more you. Now, sometimes we might be a little lazy. Sometimes it might be hard to do some new things. But if we try and we have perseverance and we push through, we can be the best. We can be the best we, or you can be the best you. So be you. And I love this book. I love the illustrations. And I love this author. It's one of my favorite books. So with that being said, again, I'm going to wish you guys a happy uh, and safe spring break. Um, be careful when you go out, be protecting yourself, washing your hands, get your hand sanitizer, wipes and all that stuff. But you know, we also want you to come back after spring break and finish up the rest of the year and push through. Okay, I will see you guys again. Um, hopefully sometime in April or May before the end of the school year. But I uh, want to just wish you a good spring break. And I hope you enjoy your little goodies and your little book that I gave you. Um, and it's stuff that you should already know as a first grader. Okay. And you should try to do the math and the, the, the addition and the subtraction, I think some of you guys have. So do your very, very best. Okay. Bye. Take care. Be safe.